Hi, my name is Casey Skillen from the Advanced Technical Support Team at Schneider Electric. Today I'm going to show you how to assign an alarm to a digital output on the PM8000 meter. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to find the IP address of the meter. So to do this, we press the home button and then scroll up to communication setup. You should find it in here. And we're going to need this for later on when we actually uh, go into the software. Okay, for testing purposes in the lab here, what I'm going to do is change the IP address of my laptop to match the same range as the meter itself. So I'm just going to change my laptop to 223.22.33.10. Okay. And once that's done, we go into command prompt. I'm just going to ping the meter's IP address just to make sure we've got communications there. So I'm going to use the power quality alarm and it's going to be voltage one total harmonic distortion. As you can see there's 846. So if we open the software now, I'm just going to insert the meter, direct ethernet meter there. And then we can add the device to that Ethernet site. I'm just going to pop the IP address in here of the meter. Select the type, which is PM8000. Give it a name. And then we're going to change to Advanced Ion Setup. Okay. So as you can see there, we can read the real-time information from the meter and if we go into the setup screen it will display all the actual modules there. Uh, the one that we're going to be interested in today is the set point module. And I'm going to use the over THD on V1. There's three parts to setting this up so you'll have the source register We've got the setup registers and then the output registers. So for the setup register on the high limit, for testing purposes, I'm just going to set that lower than what we actually saw earlier on the meter so that it will trigger the alarm. And if you look at the bottom here, you'll see that the alarm has now been triggered and the red LED will flash. And if I go into active alarms, you'll see there we've got the over THD on V1. To acknowledge it, you press the two arrow keys in the middle. But now we've got the alarm set up, we're going to have to assign that alarm to a digital output. So I'm going to use port D1. So if we go in here, The source of this is going to be the output of the setpoint module that I created earlier. The setup register in this case we're going to choose port D1 because that's what we want to change over when the actual alarm is active. And then you can see here that it's just going to go between off and on as the alarm turns off and on. So once we've sent that to the meter, what we should see now is the state of the D1 output change from off. And now it's on there. So we know that the alarm has triggered the digital output correctly. 
I hope you found this video to be informative. For any further information, please visit our website, and thank you for watching. Thank you.